We are from The Ohio State University and these are Dirty Jobs. I'm Soledad and I'm here to see some dirty jobs in plant pathology. So, what exactly is plant pathology? Um, it's a branch of science uh, where the people do study uh, different causes of diseases and yeah, it's the study of diseases, plant diseases, you can say. So, why? Plant, plant also get diseases just like us? Yes, plants do get sick just like us and they can cause uh, important famines and really disrupt the world's food supply. A good example of that is the Irish potato famine. And in fact, we have some oh, wow. pretty uh, <laughs> so, gross and infected oh. and rather stinky potatoes. Wow, that's really gross. So definitely, I don't want to eat that. So. Absolutely not. And just imagine if potatoes was your sole food supply, or if wheat or rice was your <laughs> sole food supply. So things get, get dead and stinky. Okay, so let's say I see my plant is all, you know, weird and sort of sick, I guess. So how do I confirm that the plant is sick? Well, you can take your plant to a clinic and someone there will diagnose your plant sick. Diseased plants, sickly plants, and sending plants to a clinic for diagnosis. So when a plant pathologist sees rotting plants, it's time to roll up their sleeves and get to work. It's pretty serious business studying these organisms, and sometimes they're mushy and gooey and yucky, but very interesting, and of course, dirty and very, very stinky. Katie, what are you doing? Hey, just eating some potato chips. Cool. What is that? They're potatoes. We think they're infested with Phytophthora infestans. Infested? Yeah. Ew! You wanna look? Sure! Ew! Gross! Oh, that's nothing. Come over to the with me and we'll take a look at them. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, come on in. Hey Bridget, I think my potatoes are sick. Alright, I'll be right with you guys. I'm sorry, Clara, but your hosta plant has tested positive for hosta virus X. What can I do? I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. We're gonna have to, uh, destroy your plant. <laughs> hey guys, how can hey. I help you? Um, I think my potatoes are sick, but I hope that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> oh, I hope not either. Let's go check them out. Okay. Diagnosing a disease involves examining the specimen and culturing the organisms for further tests. First, we we'll need to make a nutrient media. What are you doing? Oh, we're just mixing up a little bit of potato dextrose alga here shortly to test and see exactly what pathogen is infecting your potatoes. This is a special media that we use to grow fungal cultures in the laboratory in order to identify um, exactly what pathogen is infecting different organisms, plants. Then sterilize it in a pressure cooker called an autoclave. Oh, she's going to put the auger into the um, autoclave. It'll sterilize it at very high pressures. Lastly, we'll pour the media into petri dishes and allow it to gel so we can grow our cultures. What is she doing? Oh, she's pouring the plates with the auger that you just saw we got out of the autoclave. It's like this jelly stuff and the bacteria will grow on it or the fungus, whatever you have, will grow on it. So Katie, these are the plates we just poured. They're really gross. Touch them. Ew, that is gross! It's like jelly, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so Bridget, what'd you find? Our potatoes. Well, your potatoes are definitely growing a fungus, but I wouldn't eat them until we have a clear uh, diagnosis. For no them. way, I'm not eating Don't those. Don't worry about that. <laughs> These are some other gross things that we've grown in our lab. Yeah, they're pretty gross. Yuck. Diagnosing a plant disease has many steps. Some are dirty, some are not, and some things we find are really scary.